you've got to measure to the correct precision. So let's just review how to do it. First, yeah, you got to um, measure, you got to figure out what's the smallest increment on that ruler. That's step one, right? Then the next step is if you know the smallest increment, you can estimate to one tenth of that. Look at this ruler. We'll do this one for an example. Um, this is, it's, this, it's simply asking you to measure those arrows to the proper precision. Let's start with this one right here. This one, well, we actually have to start with the ruler. What's the smallest increment on this ruler? I think centimeters. Well, that is the unit. So that's one centimeter and that's two centimeters, but that's not the smallest. Oh, increment. the smallest is, is 0.1. 0.1 centimeters is the smallest increment, right? So if you have 0.1 centimeters is the smallest increment, like from there to there, what, what decimal place can you estimate to? 0.1 is the smallest increment from there to there. That means you can estimate to the? Tens place? Well, the tens place is the smallest increment. You see how the hundred to the hundreds place. So this, we've got to measure to the hundreds place. Now, to me, that is like directly on the four. To me, that looks directly on the four. So how do I write 0 0.4, but I got to write it to the correct precision. What do I got to do with that? That's only going to 0 0.40. You got to add the zero because that's the uncertain digit, the, the hundreds place. In other words, the, uh, the uh, divisions are to the tens place or the smallest increment to the tens place. You can estimate to the hundreds place. Once you do that, and by the way, this is going to be centimeters. Got to add the unit for these. But that means if I just write that, it automatically means it's plus or minus 0 0.1. What? Josh, can you help me on this? Because I think you got it now. 0 0.05. Exactly. You add up or down 5, but it's got to be in that uncertain place. And that also should be in centimeters. So uh, that's what we got there. Let's try this next one. The thick arrow right here. It, so it doesn't two. look like it's on the line. This one is definitely, uh, to me, it looks like it's a little bit before the line. So I'm going to say, uh, it, here's 2, 2.0, 2.1, 2 2.2. I'm going to say like 2.29. And it, it actually will give you slack. It'll allow you uh, error here. I'm getting 2.29. centimeters and then that is estimated to uh the that's plus or minus 0.05 it's same instrument plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters notice you can have the zero there or not it will make a difference this one right here this one is way short of that so it's i'm getting right about there so if it's right about there what do we say what's our estimate on that um i'd say 1.45 you could say 1.45. To me, it looks like it's a little bit farther than halfway. So I'm going to say either 1.46 or I might say 1.47. But it will mark you right. If you said 1.45, it would mark you right because you are within uncertainty. And that is centimeters and then plus or minus, again, 0 0.05 centimeters. And that should be it like that. So that's all we're doing for all these. So 3C, what's the smallest increment on this ruler? Um, 0 0.1. Exactly. 0 0.1 is right there. So you can estimate to the? The uh, 100. Right. Now, because I'm giving you this hint, it's exactly there. How would you write this out if you can estimate to the hundreds, this thick arrow? Uh, 1.00. Boom. 1.00, and that is centimeters. So then, then do you know what to do with this one once you get that? Is it 0 0.05? Yep, that's it in centimeters. You got it right. Awesomeness. Right. Yeah. I was having trouble on the thick arrow. This one right here. Yeah. Uh, what did you put down for this? Yeah, I tried 0, 0 0.5 as well. But they both okay, wait a second. Let, let's just look at this. Here's 0. Are you, can you see this? This is 0. Yeah. This is 1. You got to look at that. Maybe you're, you're looking at this part there. You got to look at the tip of the arrow. Do you All think right. that's halfway to one? No. Is it lo is longer or shorter than halfway? Longer. It's, it's got to be bigger than 0.5. Uh, what would your, your estimate be on this? And like I was telling Melanie, WebAssign is more demanding about one sig fig answers 
They need you to get it right, exactly. So here's point five, right in the middle. What would you say about this one? What's your guess on that right. one? Point seven. Point seven. You have to put point seven because with WebAssign, with one sig fig items, it says you got to get this right or you're just not getting us, giving us enough information. So it's point seven, and that's all you can get. You can't do point seven zero because we don't, we don't, we don't even, uh, we are still uncertain in the tenths place. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got it. Awesomeness. Okay, so number five, this is the exact same thing. But this is just even simpler. It's just asking you to measure the length. So in other words, okay. it's, it's assuming right now that you understand when you write down 0.34, whatever you write down, that means adding that five to that last place. So this is just simply, can you measure the right length and then go to the right precision? So let's try okay. this one. Now on this one, everyone's got different results. If you put in my answer here, you will get it wrong. Um, but notice, what, what is the smallest increment on this ruler right here? 0.1 units. 0.1 units, right. Because see that, that's the smallest increment, that's 0.1. How do I know that? Because there's 10 blocks here, and then this one is one, so each one of these tiny ones gotta be 0.1. Now, if your smallest increment is 0.1 units, that means you can estimate to the? Uh, the hundredths. Right, what would you say that measurement is? And then we'll just get the basic measurement and then we'll go to the right precision. What are you saying there? For this one, it'll be different like four, than yours. Oh, 4.00 for yours. Okay, so uh, I, so just for where it's at, it's clearly at four, right? Mm -hmm. Then uh, we got to figure out, so it's four, but what precision do I have to go to? Like you already said, because the marks, the smallest increment is the tenths, we can go to the hundreds place. 4.00, that is it. Now that's, that's a weird one because it's, uh, I want to get one that's like not directly on the line. It's this one right here, okay? It's not quite to that line right there. You see how it's not quite there? Now, what's the smallest increment on this ruler? Uh, the thousands? That would be thousands, because this is hundreds, and one-tenth of that is thousands. So all we got to do is, the first step is to figure out what's the smallest increment, thousands. If the smallest increment is thousands, what can I measure to? It's really an estimate to that place, but that's the first uncertain digit. The what? ten thousands? The ten thousands. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm getting this is like 0.02, this is 0 0.021, 0 0.022, 0 0.023. It's not quite to 0 0.024. So I've got to write it like this. It's 0 0.023, but then there's a little bit more. I'm gonna say uh it's not quite 0 0.04. I'm gonna say that's like a uh eight. There it is right there, and now I'm done with that. Does that make sense? Okay, so no. you don't need to put the, um, the plus 0.05 ten thousandths? You, and this is what's great is when we use sig figs, we don't need to add that plus or minus 0 0.05. We just have to know that that's what it means. Oh, so okay. uh, uh, that, that's the advantage of using sig figs. The uncertainty is built into it. Uh, sig figs are probably the worst way of showing uncertainty. It is way better to show plus or minus whatever, but sig figs is a real easy and shortcut way to do it. And we are implying whenever you put that last digit, what that uncertainty is. Uh, anybody else have a question? I have two actually. Great, where are you at? Let's go back to number three for a sec. What, what's the smallest increment on this ruler here? <clears throat> a point one? That's not true. It all starts with figuring out what is the smallest increment. So, well, what's this line right there? What does that line mean? Like, that, that's 10 millimeters? Right, that's 10 millimeters. Oh, wait, the smallest is one. The smallest increment is one millimeter, right? Yeah. You with me there? Smallest increment, this right here is one millimeter. This is one millimeter. You see how the smallest increment is one millimeter. Does that make sense to start with? Yes. Okay, great. And uh, smallest increment is one millimeter. That means we can estimate to the? Tenths place. Tenths of millimeters. So this one is 10, there's 10, there's 11. What is this one right there? What would you say? Go ahead and, and, and it's okay to be off. We are, we're, we're, we're claiming that there's uncertainty. You don't have to have it exactly the same as me. 
11.1 to me that looks like more like 11.3 but both of those would be accepted by this because the uncertainty is in the tenths of millimeters so i'm getting 11.3 millimeters you got to have the right units and when i write that if you write it like that you are stating that it's got to be plus or minus and josh this will be the last one i ask you to help me on plus or minus what 0 0.5 0 0.5 or 0.5 and that'll also be millimeters so that when you write down 11.3 millimeters you are meaning 11.3 millimeters but it could be plus or minus 0.5 millimeters hopefully that's starting to make more sense but that's how that one works i have and a question sure <laughs> okay so on one c i keep getting stuck on the fourth box so uh we got this this is just saying 1.2400 meters right that's what we're saying plus or minus uh did you already get this one right yeah what's the answer to that one 0 0.0005 right okay because notice that that's the last place but mm -hmm. that means that the lowest possible height what do you get when you subtract 0 0.0005 from that one? 1.2395. Okay, uh, and that would be meters. And what would be the highest possible one? That's when you add it, right? Uh, right. 1.2405. That's what I'm getting, and meters, make sure you have meters there. And that's all you need to do.